What great managers do that OK ones don't affects us all. The productivity gap between the top 5% of managers and the average manager is a whopping 800% according to McKinsey's. The top 5% of managers create 8 times more value than an average manager. Think how you would be treated at work if you were in the top 5% of managers. Think about the respect you'd get from your team, the appreciation you'd get from your bosses, and the envy and admiration from peers. The top 5% of managers don't work 8 times harder or anything close to deliver their great results. They work differently. To begin to get similar amazing results through your team, learn what great managers do and become a better manager quickly. What great managers do that OK ones don't are, firstly, great managers put the team before themselves. Secondly, they create a trusting team environment. Third, great managers are comfortable with conflict. Fourth, they partner with and value their team members. And fifth, they are unfailingly results orientated. For each, I explain why each of these actions and approaches is so vitally important for creating higher performing teams, plus give you practical tips so you can start putting these actions into practice. Instantly become a better manager. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses teaching you how to build high performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below, as well as the video timestamps, so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Firstly, great managers put the team before themselves. Great managers understand and know with absolute confidence something that the rest are too scared to take the risk on. Great managers know that when they work in service to the team, they are most effectively working in service to themselves. The work environment is ultra competitive. Yet many want to progress their careers so they keep learning, they get exposure to different experiences, gain new skills, gain more status, get paid more, can support their families better, can have nicer holidays and so on. In this competitive environment, it seems a huge risk to help others become better, to help them deliver more, to potentially speed up their career progress. I mean, you might be thinking, they might overtake me and make it harder for me to get ahead. Why would I help them rather than myself? A me first approach works well as a worker, as a direct contributor. The more you deliver personally, the more you get ahead in the competitive workplace. So far, so good. Then you become a manager. Managers create a lot more value through others, through their team, than they can hope to achieve by themselves as individuals. Managers create value and benefit for their companies by enabling a team of people to produce more. Managers can leverage their personal time and effort through others. The previously successful me first approach is now a big anchor to progressing your career as a manager. Great managers change me first into my team first. A manager's performance is assessed on their team's performance. The better the team does, the better the manager personally does. Great managers help improve team performance by working hard in service of the team. They set and maintain clear direction for each member of the team. They remove obstacles. Great managers create enjoyable and trusting team environments to work in. They are comfortable with conflict and dealing with it. Great managers consistently make decisions and take actions that scream team first, even when it costs them personally. In short, great managers do everything they can to help their teams do better, to produce more, to become more skilled, to progress team member careers for the benefit of the team. Great managers know that working in service to their team is the best way of helping everyone, including themselves. Secondly, great managers create trusting team environments. The leader of a team sets the rules and establishes the working environment through the decisions and the actions they take and the behaviour they display. Actions speak louder than words. Most managers look after a collection of individuals. When the manager uses a me-first approach, then the people they look after follow suit. 
trust is limited and teamwork is hampered. A collection of individuals that are dependent on each other to do their jobs well don't perform nearly as well as a team. Teamwork requires trust. Trust that the other person can do their jobs well and trust that the other person will look after me as an individual, i.e. they have my back. Great managers know this. Great managers work hard to demonstrate that they have the team's back. They fight for the team. They support and help team members. Great managers show they care on a personal as well as a professional level. They show their respect and admiration for their team members. Great leaders manage their own behaviours, decisions and actions carefully to demonstrate their trustworthiness and to act as a role model for how they expect team members to conduct themselves at work and towards other team members. Great managers work hard to remove or mitigate obstacles and problems that make team members' jobs harder, from organisational politics to poor behaviour and performance. When every day your leader is working hard to help you, being open and honest, and their actions are aligned to their words and in the team's best interests, it's very easy to appreciate them and trust them. When your leader is trustworthy and encourages actions that build trust within the team, and discourages actions that damage trust within the team, it is a lot easier for the team to build trust. A trusting environment that promotes teamwork and interdependency quickly follows. Higher levels of trust and better teamwork produce better results. Thirdly, great managers are comfortable with conflict. You know, in every organisation there will be conflict. Resources are limited and each department and manager are competing for these limited resources. Different departments usually have goals with some conflict built in. Add structural, processes and other organisational conflicts and you are guaranteed a level of conflict within any organisation. Then there are conflicts between individuals, you know, because of differences in background, of values, differences in beliefs, experiences, assumptions and personal goals. This creates another layer of conflict to manage. Great managers are comfortable with conflict. Some types of conflict are creative and support the team reaching goals faster and better. You know, for example, harnessing the differences between individuals in the team, you know, different ideas, different approaches, different viewpoints, can create much better solutions than any one individual on their own. Great managers carefully manage creative conflict to ensure it does not become destructive. Other types of conflict are destructive and promote bad decisions, poor behaviour and damaged relationships. Great managers act very quickly and effectively to resolve these conflicts before they damage team performance. They know how to approach resolving conflicts and they've built enough trust that they will not damage relationships in the process. Average managers allow destructive conflict to continue too long or ignore it in the hope that the conflict won't matter too much. You know, fear of damaging relationships or lack of skills and confidence in how to resolve conflicts prevents them from taking action needed. Conflict damages trust, teamwork and team performance. Great managers are constantly looking out for conflict and act quickly and effectively to resolve conflicts when they happen. Fourth, great managers partner with and value their team members. It is really easy for managers to think of their team members, I am better than you. Yet after all, managers have worked hard and developed their skills to get promoted into the management ranks and their team members have not. Of course, be proud of your achievements, but don't look down on others. Believing consciously or unconsciously that you are better than your team members is performance suicide. Your beliefs about the team will show through your actions and behaviours. Great managers know how important team members are to them personally. You know, without team members, there is no need for a manager. Managers depend on their team members to enable the manager to personally create value for the business. Think of your team members as valuable partners. Get to know them, their strengths, their ambitions and their weaknesses. Help them play to their strengths and minimise their weaknesses. The more you help them, the better they do, the better the team does, which leads to you doing better. A clear partnership which is very valuable to you. Great managers partner with and value their team members. 
the manager's belief about their team members are demonstrated in everything the manager does. Admiring your team members is a brilliant way to create trust, respect and teamwork. Fifth, great managers are unfailingly results orientated. Your businesses need to deliver great outcomes for their customers to be successful. There will be many components involved in delivering great outcomes and each team needs to do their part. You know, sales, marketing, operations, customer service, finance, etc. Great managers know their team needs to deliver results. For example, in terms of sales, lead generation, products or service delivery and ensuring activity is turned into profit and cash. In results orientated teams, great leaders make the goals clear, keep them on display and talk about them regularly. There is a lot of visibility and measurement of progress towards those goals, so everyone knows exactly where they and the team stand. Great managers know that there are many ways to reach goals and will consider all viable routes, often with team members. Then they choose and focus on the solution that delivers the most progress towards goals while working within the constraints the team is under. Great managers move from agenda doers to agenda setters. They focus the team on what is best to achieve the results in the short term and the long term. They protect the team from the noise and distractions in the wider business. Great managers that consistently beat targets focus a lot of their energy on making sure the skills and strengths of their team members are used to the maximum. And great managers consistently focus their teams on delivering results. So in summary, great managers and leaders focus on making their team great knowing that creating a great team is the best way to help themselves. Managing others is a difficult and complex job. You know, everyone is different, so every team you manage will be different. The five principles that I have shared today are universal in creating great teams. Humans throughout history survived and became successful in groups. In the workplace today, these same group rules and approaches are as effective as they've always been and will be far into the future. It does take courage to put the team before yourself as a manager in today's ultra-competitive workplace. Be courageous and become a better manager. To recap, five things that great managers do that OK ones don't are Firstly, great managers put the team before themselves. Secondly, they create a trusting team environment. Third, great managers are comfortable with conflict. Fourth, they partner with and value their team members. Fifth, they are unfailingly results orientated. If you have any questions on what great managers do that OK ones don't become a better manager, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.